curious, you know, this, you know, the young team, uh, you know, take from playing, you know, a meaningful game in a game where right? you've had a lot over your mm -hmm. career, but a lot of guys, this is the first time they were in a yeah. big time NFL game late in the season. Uh, that it just, you know, comes down to the little things. Um, the team that executes uh, the best in the fourth quarter usually win. Mm -hmm. And um, got to tip our heads to the Bills um, because they did that. You guys have been kind of fighting and clawing to, mm -hmm. to stay in this for, for so long. Sure. To, to, to have that like, playoff possibility mm -hmm. kind of just fall out of your grasp, is that, a, is that a difficult thing? Or how do you, how do you think that this team needs to respond to that? Uh, it's, it's very difficult. I mean, because that's that's why we play the game. Um, especially at this point in my career, I know it's getting closer to the end. But you know, you come back and play to play in meaningful games, to get to the playoffs, to get the chance. Um, you know, to win championships and, and play for championships. Um, and we fell short. Um, so so it's tough. But um, we're young. We're a young team. Um, and. Um, this will be a feeling that hopefully everybody in this locker room remembers. Um, leaving the field, um, the Bills clinching the playoff berth, um, and hopefully use it as um, some type of motivation um, to get back to this point where we're playing meaningful football in late December, early January, and we'll be the ones um, who'll be clinching the playoff berth. You guys have done a really good job over I think it's just a combination of um, good rush, um, good instinct by um, the players, um, playing zone, everybody having eyes on the quarterback, and just having some really good football players on our defense. Um, that's all it is. Uh, you know, uh, Josh, I mean, yeah, Josh was scrambling. Um, he always does a good job of just trying to keep the play alive. He got to the sideline. Um, he just wanted to make a play, and uh, Foe did a good job of just getting a hand on it. Um, got a hand on it, popped it up. Um, I just wanted to make sure I caught this one. I had an opportunity early in the game to catch one, um, but um, I didn't. But great play by Foe um, to put me in position to create a turnover. Yeah. Is it more to play this type of weather to come from a hot city, a warmer climate to, to today when you go out there for pregame warm-up? Is it more of a mental thing to be prepared for this type oh, of uh, yeah. Without a doubt. I mean, you just think about it. Um, most teams um, playing in these, uh, playing in the playoffs and meaningful football, I mean, cold cities, cold cities everywhere. Um, I don't know if it's half and half, but, you know, you got to be able to win games in any type of situation, rain, snow, thunderstorm, um, whatever it is. Um, got to be mentally tough. Um, and, you know, we came out here and we fought. We played hard. We played to the end. Um, but just, you know, came up short. Did Bill today surprise you at all with any of it with your uh, sets or any of your No, no. We, we kind of knew what they was going to do. We knew they was going to move the ball. Um, but we knew we had to, you know, make them kick three. Um, and we just didn't do that enough. Third down, not being able to get off the field on third down, become frustrating as you go, or do you even think about it as you're out there? I mean, as you're out there, um, you, you try not to think about it, but it's, you know, it's human nature because um, we got them in a couple of third downs, we got them some third and tens, um, and they were just able to convert. And um, you know, we talked about that. We, we want to get them behind the sticks, and we were able to do that, but um, in just certain situations, we weren't able to finish, and it just prolonged the drive. Josh Allen's throwing lanes well enough, well enough that they essentially have to get away from the pass to be effective in the second half. Uh, I want to say clog it up because I mean Josh Allen, he's a like I said earlier. I mean he's a phenomenal player. I mean the growth that he is shown from his rookie year to when I first played him to now is amazing. I just think they did a great job of just you know kind of just going. Um, to what was working, you know, the run game was working, the quarterback runs was working, and that's what good football teams do. Um, so hats off to you know, to Dayball for just figuring out what they had to do to win the game, and um, they did that. Anything else? So what comes next for this young defense? I mean, how do you kind of rally them for this last game? <sighs> 
Well, I mean, we get, a, we get an opportunity to play football. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we got the best job, in my opinion, in the world. You know, we get to play a, a childlike game um, for a lot of money, and we have a lot of people cheering for us, and um, we're role models to a lot of people. So um, it's our job to go out there and end the season the right way, the best way we know how, and that's what a win. And um, just look to continue to build. Um, I'm really, really just thankful to be a part of this team because, I mean, we got a lot of young guys, but we got a, young, a lot of young guys that want to do it the right way. They want to fight. Um, they want to get better. And um, just thankful, truly thankful that, uh, you know, Terry and, and Coach Smith seen it fit that I come here and help lead and um, turn this place into um, a franchise that, that wins football games and plays meaningful football in December and January. Thank you. Just what do you think it's uh, I mean, this team's been fighting for a couple weeks now. It's pretty nuts the effort out there. It's a good team. Just two shots out of earlier, lessons you've learned. But you know, I don't. Mm -hmm. What lessons do you think you've learned? You know, yeah. What, what lessons do you think you've learned? Know, uh, I just think you know, kind of what I said earlier. You know, the team that makes the, the least amount of mistakes um, is going to be the winners. And um, I just think you know we we play well, we play hard, but um, the Bills. Um, when it counted the most, they made the least amount of stakes and um, they were able to be victorious. So that's a lesson that we'll learn and that's a lesson that we'll carry forward. And, you know, we'll just continue to just keep be getting better. All right, thank you. All right, guys. All right, Happy thanks. New Year, everybody. Happy New Year.